Hello everyone and thank you for watching another Suds Reviews. Today we are reviewing the Leshp Professional Studio Condensing Mic Kit. This is a pretty inclusive kit. It includes uh, almost everything you need to get going. I myself am just starting out at the YouTube game and I thought I'd give this a try for $50 on Amazon.ca. It includes a basic condensing mic with no buttons or features on it whatsoever, a 6 foot XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable, it's quite supple and bendy. I'm pretty impressed with the quality. It includes a scissor arm, which I'll talk about in further detail, a suspension mount, which stops vibration from being transmitted to the microphone, a very budget-oriented USB sound card that's about the size of a USB key, a foam windscreen, so you can use it in slightly breezy locations or outdoors, as well as a pop filter. I'm currently using both the foam windscreen and the pop filter for the duration of this review. The packaging of all the items was quite robust. Every object except the pop filter had its own uh, spot encased in foam. Um, top marks for this. And when I unpacked everything, I found the biggest wow factor item was the suspension mount. On closer inspection, it is uh, rubber bungee cord based, not spring based, but it still looks pretty cool. I don't know about its functionality uh, in terms of stopping vibration, but it is very easy to mount and unmount the microphone. There are two clips that you just squeeze together and it opens up the opening, allowing you to slide out the mic. The included USB sound card serves its purpose well, however is on the very budget-oriented side of quality. It is not much larger than a USB key, and it has volume up, volume down, and a single mute button. The green light indicates it has power, and the red light will light up when it is muted. As cheap as it feels, it is doing its purpose, and I'm using it right now. The scissor arm itself does the job, however there are a lot of places for improvement. At the $50 price point, I really don't blame it for cutting some corners. Some of the springs were not attached quite properly, and upon moving the boom, it snapped into place, causing a very loud springing noise. I should have saved the recording, but it was pretty much deafening to anyone who would have been listening. So for live streaming, I would recommend that you put this in position, then enable your mic and do not touch it. I'm including a clip of me touching the mic boom while recording, and it will basically shake for about 30 seconds. I don't believe that this affects the sound quality too, too much, as I'm doing it right now, and I don't think you'll be able to hear any wavering of my voice. However, it is a little disconcerting to see. Just a simple touch set this thing off, jiggling for over 30 seconds. I'm going to compare this microphone directly to my Blue Yeti microphone. The Blue Yeti is arguably a better quality microphone, however I do not have a stand for it, so I will be holding it in my hand. To give it a little bit of a fighting chance, I will be using the pop filter from this microphone in front of the Blue Yeti. I will simply say a testing phrase in front of both microphones. First will be the Leshp, then will be the Blue Yeti. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 I'm going to record the rest of this review on the Blue Yeti, just so you can get an idea of how speech differs between the two microphones. For $50, I cannot fault the Leshp for its sound quality. It is a great sounding microphone for the price, and the inclusion of the isolating mount, the scissor stand, as well as the pop filter and wind filter are an absolutely unbeatable value. If you're a YouTuber just starting out, this will absolutely hold you over while you get on your feet. As such, at the current price of $50 Canadian on Amazon.ca, I would give this a very strong buy recommendation. If you found this review helpful, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or if you're seeing this on Amazon, give this a helpful vote. I really do enjoy reviewing items, and you letting me know what I'm doing right or wrong really does help me. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.